Greetings YouTube, it's the Brain Damage Gamer here. We're going to be playing some Elite today, and I have finally managed to pick up this advanced plasma accelerator. It has been a pain in the ass to get to this damn thing, but I finally got one. So, we're going to go ahead and take this thing for a spin. No! Shit! I didn't have enough for rebuy! Eh, just kidding. That was a sidewinder. Yeah, I did that a little bit for all my friends and followers that have had the same experience happen. Which I actually have had happen to me one time. Uh, it sucks! But, I figured it'd be funny. Okay, so we are in the hazardous site. And I cannot think of a better first target than another Fertilance. So let's see what kind of damage this bad boy can do. Just because I have first-hand experience with uh, things like the shielding and whatnot that this particular ship has. I'll get a little bit of an idea as to what kind of damage I'm doing. So, just a couple of quick beams. Get their attention. Not really doing anything to the shielding yet. Let's go ahead and get a couple of shots in now. Oh, you're all over the place. Look at you. Oh, that's cool. I can just hold it down and it keeps firing. Holy heck, I already ate the first ring. And a nice little chunk into the second. Alright, that's a total of eight shots that have gone so far. I've probably hit about five of them, I'd say. I'll have to go back and watch the video later to see what the actual number was. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and mark the number right about here. There we are. That's the number. Because it looked later. Not right now, but later. All right, looks like that second ring's recovered already. Oh, you're no joke. I'll go ahead and drop some chaff, even though it's not doing any good in this yet because they still haven't fixed the turrets. Yeah, I got most of those in and shredded that shielding. Holy heck, I am liking this. No, nope, somebody didn't pay for the upgraded armor package. You have default armor, don't you? I will say this, it does appear to have shredded straight through my uh, power. Alright, you're at 22% left on your hull. Let's go ahead and see if I can get at least one or two plasmas in here, kind of get a gauge for what kind of damage it does versus this. I need a nice clean shot. You gonna give me one? You gonna be a dick. Yeah, that one hit. 11%. For something that fires so rapidly, I have 20 of them in the magazine. And 300 total, 11% hull damage against a Fertilance? That's not bad. Now, the one thing I will say is this. Uh, I looked, and from what I could tell online, and from what I had also seen personally in the game, apparently they don't make a Class 4 version of this cannon. Now, I have a Class 4 slot. That means I have the potential of upgrading to a larger plasma than what I'm currently using. And also on top of that, this particular... Oh, you're about ready to charge your shields. I was going to be all fancy and try to get you the last shot with the plasma, but F all that. Oh, I still managed to do it. Look at that. Got lucky. <laughs> what were you even worth? Just under a quarter of a mil. I'm not going to complain about that. So, not being able to go to the Class 4, that's kind of a bit of a put-off as far as what I'm intending to do with this. Because typically I use the plasma to just go ahead and decimate the shields of whatever it is I'm firing at. Given that I have to hit multiple times, that does make it a little bit more rough. As far as the goal of shredding those shielding out quickly. It fires pretty rapidly though, so it's kind of that balance. It's a little bit faster, but doesn't do as much damage per shot. I don't know, I'm kind of a mixed feelings on this one. Let's go ahead and give you a test out on this asp. Yeah, let's still. There we are, that'll work. I don't know, it's doing a pretty good job of eating the shields, it looks like to me. 
Alright, let's go ahead and recharge a little bit of energy. And we'll get back in with another volley. I'll go ahead and finish out the current five I have in the magazine on this. There we are. It's not a bad little weapon, to be honest. I would actually recommend this to, to people that are doing bounty hunting, especially if you can only fit a class three. Perfect. This is the go-to. If I can only fit a class three, this is the go-to I go to. Now, if you could fit a class four, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of mixed on that. I'll have to put a class four on this and see what I think of it. I have noticed, though, that uh, with this latest patch, for me at least, it looks like some of the stations I go to there's more of a weapon selection available than there used to be. As in, there's a greater quantity of just mixed weapons everywhere. Alright, let's see what you look like with this. Dangerous level. Drop ship. Zargis Zalazar. And your parents hated you. You got a Z last name and they give you a Z first name too? Damn, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't. I have noticed that dropships have become ramming bastards since this last patch. It seems like their goal is, well, if I can't attack you directly, I'll just slam into you. Them and anacondas. Anacondas seem to do that a lot more too. Come on. You done? Okay. Get a little passing shot there. All about feathering on the throttle. Here we are. And that's that. Give him a second, he'll realize he's got no engine. Or not. Does he have like .001 left and it registers a zero? Oh no, there he goes. Had to burn through it. I really do like that that new thing that they do with them stalling out instead of just poofing every single time immediately. Because it makes sense. Not everything that breaks is going to break dynamically and explode everywhere. Alrighty. So you're at 47. Let's put a plasma in. You see what it looks like. 46. That's not good. Is it because I'm hitting the destroyed... Oh. It's because I was hitting the, the destroyed power plant. The power plant sucked it all up and blew it up instead. Yeah, get out of my way. What are you? Are you the one that scammed me a second ago? Yes, you are. Alright, so... So far we've had a couple of larger ships. Uh, I consider the, the Asp kind of a, a medium level ship. And then Cobra, I consider that the kind of top end of the light ships. So I'll go ahead and take a shot at this Cobra with the plasmas as well, see what it does to it. And then I believe that will end the uh, test fire of this particular weapon. Ah! Whiffed it, he turned. That one hit! Ooh, look what it did to the shield, too. I gotta be careful here. I might end up hitting that Type 7. Screw myself over. Eh, turned again. I swear, they have somebody in the little window just looking out, screaming, Turn! Every time they see a plasma come out. You gonna ram me? Well, so much for seeing what the plasma did. Idiot. Maybe it's just all of the AI got ram happy with this last update. It's doing a fair amount of damage with as well. Eh, no you don't. You gonna shoot me as you go past? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and wipe him out with the multi-cannons. I think we've seen enough damaging effects from the plasma itself. Bye! There we go! Well there you have it, folks! That is the advanced plasma accelerator. Uh, as you saw, it does have the 20-round magazine. Uh, it has 300 rounds of available ammo. You do have to be allied with the correct faction in order to get that. So if you're not allied with Denton Petraeus's power, you're not going to get it. You have to go to your rating. You look down here for the third rank. 
So in order to get this, you have to have 750 merits. You get access to this after you have hit this rank and been with this faction for a minimum of four weeks. You have to be aligned with that power for that time window. Do I think it is a good weapon? Yes. So that was the weapons test of the Advanced Plasma Accelerator. If you have a Class 3, I definitely recommend that you put that in there. If you have a Class 4, I'm kind of on the fence still. I may have a comparison video at a later point in time. Uh, this is just some of my initial impressions since I just got the weapon. Like I said, it does take a little bit of work to get to it, so it's not something you just run out and get immediately. But I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you like the video, feel free to go ahead and hit like. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, put some comments down below. Feel free to subscribe. I will have more content like this coming in the upcoming days. As always, I am the Brain Damage Gamer, and game on.